Hey everyone, Nut Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a no bake pumpkin spice cookies. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First, you're going to need two thirds cup of pumpkin puree. So that's the 100% pumpkin, not the um, pumpkin pie filling. Then one and a half cups of uh, brown sugar, and you want that just lightly packed. Then a half a cup of butter, which is one stick, a half a cup of sea salt caramel baking chips, which I couldn't find, so I just had the craft caramels, and I'm going to add just a dash of salt, and I used 15 of the little caramels. And then you need one teaspoon of pumpkin uh, pie spice, and then four cups of quick oats. So that's all of our ingredients, and this is no bake, so you do want to have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper and we do need a saucepan. All right, first we are gonna take our pumpkin and we, I just put mine into a tea towel and squeezed out the moisture. There's what I had left. And then I just put the pumpkin into a saucepan. You should have about two thirds left after you squeeze out all the moisture. Now I did try it with paper towels and they just split. So I would recommend a tea towel for sure because it's a lot of moisture. So next to this, we are gonna add um, our butter and our caramels. Our little dash of salt if you want to do that and the pumpkin pie spice and we're going to cook that over medium heat all right my mixture is starting to come together so you want to just let that cook for about five to eight minutes um, until it starts to simmer and you're going to be stirring that frequently all right my mixture has simmered and it has all melted and come together so now i just removed it from the heat and i'm going to add in my four cups of oats and just stir that until they're completely coated all right, all of my oats are incorporated. So next I'm just gonna take heaping tablespoonfuls and put them on my parchment lined baking sheet. You should be able to get 36. All right, I was able to get 38 cookies. I just scooped them out with my tablespoon scooper and then I just pressed them down with the back of a measuring um, spoon and I just kinda, you can just kinda form them with your hands after they cool off a bit. But now we are gonna get them into the refrigerator to set up for 20 to 30 minutes. All right, all my cookies are set up and they smell amazing, so I can't wait to see what Taste Tester thinks. All right, let's see what Taste Tester thinks. Hey, Taste Tester. Hi. Have a little taste. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah. All right, everyone, come back and see us again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like, subscribe. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween.